now let's talk about the controllers. What is controllers? So as we have discussed in the MVC part that controllers are just in between the views and the models and it controls or it has the logics you want to create in your project. But where the controllers are placed in our Laravel app. So as we have seen many things, so there are many folders and files. So to get the controllers, we have to go to this app folder. Inside app, you will see lots of folders and you have to firstly go inside this HTTP folder. Here you will see the controllers folder where all the controllers are going to be placed. But for now, you only have one controller. Actually, this is the base controller or the common controller which is shared by every other controller. So think about this as the master controller. So then you have this auth and here there are many controllers but we will talk about these controllers in future. So let's see how we create our new controller. Let's first go to web.php5 and to go into the file directly on sublime we use the control p command for windows or command p for mac so web.php file and we have this route but suppose i want to do this logic that means the logic of returning view in a controller so how i can do that so for that i have to open the terminal so let's open terminal here so I will say terminal and this is the terminal and let's maximize it and to generate a new controller you can say php artisan make and you can see this there is a lots of command for artisan but we are using make command make then colon then you have to say controller so it's just like you are saying hey artisan create a controller so i have to say php artisan make controller then the controller name whatever name you want to give to your controller so i will say home but as it is a controller why not suffix the controller word so that every time we are on this file we know that this is a controller it's good practice to have the word controller or something like that on your controller so that you can recognize on your project that yeah this is a controller so that's good so let's hit enter and you can see as we have hit enter it says controller created successfully but where is the controller controller is here now you can see a new file home controller is now here and let's just go into this file so this file is having this namespace what is namespace namespace is just a virtual directory so it's having this structure which says I am inside app HTTP controller folder think about this namespace as the folder structure so yes this app home controller is inside app HTTP controllers and yeah inside the controller okay then we are creating a class because it's a class and class name is exactly same the controller or the file name actually so home controller extends the controller and this is actually our this controller okay and you can see we are using this controller but how will the level know that we are talking about this file that's why we have this namespace system here okay that's why let will know that yeah there is some file which we which i have to extend and which has to be inside this folder and this we are using a request uh, helper so we are using it at the top all these things are good but again the question is how we can move this inside here so let's create a function here so i will say public function 
and let's call it index so that's good and now parenthesis and curly braces and let's move this cut from here paste it here and you can see it's here we don't have to do anything else it's all set so that's okay but how will now our route know he has to go to index file index function of this home controller so for that we have to say like this we have just delete everything in the second argument as we have given the function let's give the controller name so i will say inside single quotes home controller we have to write the exact name of the controller and at index so we have given the index so let's just move delete all these things so you can see it is here route get and whenever we are on the slash that means base url then we have to go to home controller and index function which is here which is returning this view that's very nice so let's now start the server and we know that how to start server we have to say php artisan serve hit enter and yes it's started let's go to localhost colon 8000 and yes you can see hello bitfumes is here and which is in our view we are returning this view and this view is inside remember that yes it's inside resources folder views folder and first.blade.php and we have this h1 tag okay so you have seen that now our route is so clear remember the last one this one how it's look like oh messed up but how it is so clean and now all our logic is here so this is the controller so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe on youtube channel called bitfumes don't forget to like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram if you like this episode please share with others so that everyone get the best thing called nerval and we will meet in the next episode